here from Charlotte. We just got into town to surprise my friend Hannah. She has no idea that we're here and we're going to surprise her. She's competing at the Wadapalooza this weekend. So pumped to see her. Can't wait to start this weekend in Miami. So this is the podcast that we've been listening to um, all the way down from Charlotte. Now we're in Miami but we've gotten through one season. It's called Up and Vanished um, and it's Payne Lindsay is the producer but it's about murder mysteries and this guy's reopening these cold case files. Oh, yeah, that's it. <gasps> she outside. Hey. Hi, how are you? What's up? Glad you guys made it. Thanks for having me. I'm Steph. Yes, how you doing? Hey, yo, let's go. How is Come today? Uh, how are you doing? Hi, I'm Eileen. I should say we got more dancers. Uh -huh. okay. Come on in. Okay. Look who I found. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, 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 look at that. Surprise. Hey, 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 She's been stretching her hands. She did the rope climb today, so her forearms are super tight. So she had some stem on her forearms. She did legless rope climbs. So she's been stretching her hands, stretching her forearms. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Super successful surprise. We surprised Hannah. Now we're back at the hotel having some drinks. Pow up drink. <laughs> and tomorrow we're off to some sightseeing. Good evening, good, good evening. What just happened downstairs though? Nothing. When you got your ball on here, you gotta leave that for defense. Combo, your ball and the my ball and the my ball. What in the current situation? There are zero balls left that are solid on the table. Besides the eight ball. <laughs> I still have yet to go. <laughs> right now. We have been to Wynwood before but we want to go back and spend a little more time now that we kind of know the area. And the funny thing is last time we were here it was probably about three years ago. Didn't even own a camera, didn't record YouTube videos, I was just personal training. Dustin was an accountant so now we're here both working in our own business. Now we've got the camera gear. We're going to take advantage. I'm trying to cover up this planet. As soon as I want to start vlogging. Hello! Volcano. Oh, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. Beautiful, it's true. I saw your face in a crowded place. And I don't know what to do. I guess this artist updated his work. 2018 is when he updated this one. Last time we were here, the muscle babies covered the entire wall. <laughs> Looks like me before I had braces. <laughs> a lot of stuff has changed in three years, but there's a lot of things that we remember too. The big black and white wall, new muscle babies, a lot more people than last time we were here. We found a really healthy lunch, which was good. Super pumped about that. Now it's time to go to South Beach. My 
last time we came to Miami, someone told us, if you see someone that looks like they have money, don't ever ask them how they got it. Road rug. Ha! Road rug. <laughs> it's on the second. <laughs> Do you think they've seen my workouts? Instagram story I told Dustin we're gonna go to the beach and do a beach workout however it's pouring the rain so <laughs> we're gonna head to the hotel gym and get a quick workout in before we go see Hannah I don't get to do this very often as you know I record a new workout video every single day for the channel so I'm gonna get my own workout in in here
we are here on the bay just kind of waiting for Hannah's final event to happen. It's in about two and a half hours. And the energy here is incredible. And it got me thinking about motivation and support. I'm here with Dustin at this CrossFit event to support Hannah, who's one of my great friends. And I'm not a CrossFit. I've done CrossFit workouts, but I'm not a CrossFitter. But it's just incredible when you come to a place where people are just about support. We all have different methods of fitness. We all prefer different methods of eating, of fitness, whatever it is. But the best method isn't CrossFit. It isn't Pilates. It isn't cross training. It's the one that you can stick to. So it's all about finding what you can stick to, what you like, what fits your lifestyle, and then support people no matter what avenue they go on. Hannah's a CrossFitter and she's still a great friend and she still works really, really hard and I support that and I'm proud of her. So just because you are doing something maybe a little bit different than someone else doesn't mean it's right or it's wrong. Nobody's right or wrong. It's about what you can find to do that you can sustain and that makes you feel and live and look great just like you want. Okay, so just try and think about that this week. People may do things different than you. You may do things different than other people, but you've just got to find what works for you and you've got to support people who are working hard to be better no matter what method they're using. Check it out, it's in this game bay. So check it out, it was awesome. 